Hi everyone, it's Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again and I just wanted to get with you guys because I have a haul video today. Um, I'm real excited, got some good things and well let's get started. So I went to the Salvation Army. Uh, Salvation Army didn't have a whole lot this day but guess what? I got this. Yes, a fairy lamp. Aren't you proud? Yeah. So I went to the dollar store and, and uh, or actually my daughter got these around Halloween, but they don't throw much light off. Um, I think a real candle would look so much better in these or those little fairy lights. And I still haven't gotten the little fairy lights yet. Um, but nonetheless, I tried it and they just aren't a strong enough light. But um, I think a real candle would look so much better with these. And not only did I get one, but I got two of the same kind. So if someone wants the two of them, so they can have one, a mantle or something like that for their table for dining, um, I would be happy to sell the pair together. And this will be an offer up on uh, my next sale. So I was happy to find them. Now that was one day at Salvation Army. And uh, of course that was good, right? So I was excited. Okay, and then let me think. Uh, today at Salvation Army, didn't get a whole lot. I got this little girl though. Isn't she cute? And she looks like she's uh, putting something on the baby's little bum there. <laughs> Look at that. The detail's incredible. I, I thought this was the cutest little thing. And uh, yes, it was Salvation Army. And it says 1974 George Good Corporation. It's porcelain. And um, very, very cute. Look at her eyelashes. <laughs> She's very cute. So that was a Salvation Army find. And let me think. Oh yeah. No. This was a Salvation Army find today. So I got a bunny. And I know it's past Easter. This is an adorable Easter bunny though, don't you think? And it's all ceramic. It was a handmade piece, I think. There's initials on the bottom. I think it's C, D, V, but um, nonetheless, pretty cute. Someone tried to put a bell on there. It looks cute. And um, you know, some people are just bunny lovers, so I went ahead and got it today. Then um, I went to Goodwill. I went to Goodwill actually yesterday uh, down in one part of my county and then I went to the other Goodwill today after the Salvation Army. So at the Goodwill yesterday I came across these beautiful bubble glasses in gold. Aren't they pretty? I think I'm going to keep these for myself. I really do think so because I think I'll probably come across them again. I had gotten these uh, white, uh, not white, clear with different colors and they had the bubbles in them and I sold them. And ever since I regretted it, right? So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep these ones. And then also I had gotten these, um, they're sort of clear, but they're like a greenish. You can tell they're blown glass because they have a Pontel mark and they have a blue rim. And I'm kind of into that. So I got these two today, uh, yesterday with the gold ones at the One Goodwill. And then today at the other Goodwill, I got three of this size. So it's about half of this. See the difference? So I almost have myself a set even just after two days, right? So I'm gonna keep on trying to get a full set of those. Um, of course, I came across a pottery cup at the Goodwill yesterday. And I just love these. Um, I know I'm crazy about coffee cups. But anything that looks like pottery like this, like natural, I'm more into right now. This one has a big 
I'm not sure what that is, a LA or LR. I have no idea. But um, yeah, it just, I like them. I don't know. This is a tall one, of course. Um, so I don't need to be able to fill it up like halfway so my coffee doesn't get cold. But um, I really like that. So I got it. And also, um, I found this yesterday, little elephant creamer pitcher. I know a lot of people like elephants. Some people collect creamers. So you got two things there, elephants and creamers. And it does not have a maker's mark um, on there. So, but it's still really cute. I liked him. Um, let's see. And then at the Goodwill today, I found this beautiful sugar and creamer. Really, um, mid set mid send anyway mcm <laughs> um really retro made in japan it says makasa fine Ch china made in japan and it's called east wind but this is a sugar bowl and that is gold there And it's beautiful. No chips, no nothing. Mid-century modern. That's what I was trying to think of. And then the creamer has gold on the handle also. Gold around the rim. But I don't think it looks new. I think it looks more like 50s or 60s. Um, and then I found this little blue bowl. So people that love blue. I didn't see a maker's mark on this one. But it is the grapes and grapevine going around. This is a smaller candy dish or nut dish. Um, this is the Capri Blue, I think they call it. It's a very bright blue. Absolutely gorgeous. I would like to keep it, but I'll probably sell it. Uh, I got this one yesterday too at the Goodwill. I got them because it has a Westie on there, like my dog Duffy. And a little boy that you don't see boys much. Or it could be a man. He has a tie on. I don't know. Um, but the side does have like a slice taken off there. So you would have to set it, you know, sort of catty corner or this way. Um, nonetheless, no maker's mark. But it looks pretty old to me. I would, I'm thinking about keeping it just because it has a Westie on there. Not sure, probably sell it. I always give in. <laughs> and then I found this kitty cat today at the Goodwill. And it's one of those string holders or yarn holders. <laughs> um, and uh, I thought this was absolutely gorgeous. Little gray kitty. His eye is a little bit funny on this one. It looks like it's kind of coming off or something. But um, anyway, it is a string holder. I don't know how old it is or if it was handmade. There's no uh, letters in there or signatures or maker marks. But I thought that was cute. Let's see what else. Um, yes, I found this at the Goodwill today. This is cute. This is a Florida souvenir, but it has the pink flamingos. It's kind of got that iridescence going on. It does have the signature of Florida on there and it's a spoon rest. So it'd be great um, if you collect spoon rests, if you collect flamingos, if you collect Florida souvenirs, because you live in Florida maybe, or you love Florida and it's pink. It has a lot of pink in it. So I had to pick that up. I'm sure someone's going to love that. You can kind of see the rainbow with the iridescence. Just like, um, um, no maker's mark though, by the way. Just like the, um, I can't think of what I want to say. I'm sorry. The stuff that I was collecting, um, all the Japan dishes. It kind of has that iridescence. Uh, then the other day I did pick up this cross at the, um, Salvation Army and I like that. Very simple, but beautiful. 
Uh, let's see. So I did all those. Yes. And then today at the Goodwill, I found this beautiful summery kitchen towel. So I thought that was really cute and I'll probably keep it. I don't know. I might sell it. <laughs> I just thought it would be nice to brighten up the kitchen in the summertime. You know, it's got those like Hawaiian flowers, sort of like um, either Rosa Sharon or um, I don't know, one of those like Hawaiian flowers. Very pretty though, very bright. So um, that's about all I found in the past few days as far as hard goods go. It's been kind of a tough time here lately. I'll have to go to the antique store sometime this week so that I can um, get a little bit more for my next sale. But I do have some older things that I've collected and I have two crates and I'll be pulling from them for uh, selling. Um, I don't know if you all remember this teapot. Uh, this teapot was made by Price in England and uh, is gorgeous. I always forget how this goes on. There we go. Uh, the teapot never sold um, before. I put it on twice, but I will have it on my next sale, trying to sell it. And hopefully it will sell this time. I'll have to try to find what I tried to sell it for before. And let me pull some other things up. I have this, um, whoops, shoot. Whew, I thought I broke it. I have this wintry music box. The kids on there are really cute, as you can see. I know it's not winter time. I probably won't get as much money for it at this time, but some people do collect Christmas all year round. And since this doesn't have a Santa or a snowman, um, you could put it out all winter long. You wouldn't have to wait for the holiday. Just a little boy and girl on a sleigh. So I thought that was really cute and I've never tried to sell it yet. So it'll be the first time. I still have this trinket box that I thought was gorgeous, but uh, hasn't sold yet. It has um, roses on there, sort of like a decal. Doesn't have a maker's mark, but the shape and the color is absolutely gorgeous. Kind of looks like Victorian, but mid-century modern because of the shape, I think. Um, so I would like to try to sell that on the next sale. Um, let's see what else. I have a little bit more blue that I didn't sell yet. I have this little blue, um, I don't know if this is a candle cup, candle holder, or if it's actually a glass. All it has is number four on it. Don't know, but it's pretty. It sort of has daisies on it, daisies and tulips. I really like it. I should keep it for my collection. <laughs> Everything I wanna keep. Anyway, so that's that toothpick holder, whatever. Whatever you can imagine to put in it. This I think is absolutely gorgeous. I did get this at the antique store. So some blue glass will be in this sale, as much as I hate to let it go. Um, not sure exactly which pieces, but ooh. yeah, I wanna get rid of them before I mess them up, keep them in this crate. Um, I still have this modern one. That's kind of like an aqua. I think that's pretty. And let's see. This blue bowl is a little bit bigger, and I did find this at a um, Goodwill. Uh, more like a serving bowl, almost. And has a little bit of something on it there. I'll have to rewash it again because I must have not soaked it. But this is that Capri blue, kind of like this blue. 
Whereas this one is a little bit lighter, but well, I don't know, they're pretty close. Yeah, so you can see the difference in the sizes. Um, I will be having a sale this week. I haven't settled, let me think. I think we'll do it on Thursday, Thursday at 6.30. I think that's a good time. Um, I know there's other people probably, but hopefully I won't override anyone. I have this and I, I do have it on eBay also. Um, this supposedly, it's by Gobel, Germany, R. Wachtemeister. Amici de la Luna. So it's two little kittens. And it's very small, you know, look, it's about as big as my hand. But this uh, little plate is supposed to be worth like $22. I have not sold it yet. I think I have it down to like 17 on eBay. So I'm willing to let this go, even though it's a signed piece also. It's on the front signed, it's on the back signed. Um, I think there's, I don't know why it's so collectible, but maybe it's the artist. I can't remember, it's been quite a while since I've had it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I gotta let that go soon. And so I'll mark it down. Um, Still have this little lamb uh, pitcher that I didn't sell yet. And this was made in, it says Global Design, Kate Williams. It doesn't say the country. But uh, it has a little lamb up here. I thought for sure this would sell for the Easter season, but it didn't. But whoever has a country decorating, I think that would fit in really cute farmhouse decorating would look cute, just some flowers in it, or if you wanted to use it for your child's um, milk for their cereal. Um, I don't think I showed these yet either, so these are new to you. Let me get them out. I don't wanna break anything. <laughs> Oh, we're getting kind of busy up here. I did show this strawberry dish many times. This is a jam jar. This was made in USA, Kansas City, Missouri, it says. And it has the little spoon in there. It's gorgeous. I love it for the summertime. You could use it for a sugar bowl also, or jam jar. And I did find this. Um, at the Salvation Army one day. Forgot to show it on the last sale, but it has some pretty little, it looks like uh, lilacs to me, but I'm not sure. So that's that one. And then, oh, I'll show this. Oops, come here, doggy, don't fall. This uh, sort of milk glass tray. It's a three, probably like a relish tray or something. But I bought it thinking it would be really cool even on a woman's uh, dresser to put your stuff in, jewelry or whatever, since it's very gold trimmed, white, you have sections for different things, say earrings, necklaces, bracelets, whatever. And um, also you could put makeup things in here. I was thinking and absolutely using it for myself, but then I said no. Um, so this is made by Anchor Hawking Fire King made in the USA. So that'll be on the sale. Uh, that'll be the first time I showed that to um, I found these three tiles at Goodwill one time. And I was really excited about them. Because they say hand painted, made in Holland. And I guess you could use these for almost any kind of craft thing, or you could just put them on your wall, on your counter, on a table. You could just use them as a trivet. Is this one? Yeah, this one's different. Each one of them are different, but they're very pretty. 
And so I would sell all three together or singly. I would rather sell all three together because they're sort of like a set, you know, set of three. Um, so we'll see about that too. Okay. And then, um, This one is for a mom, because you know Mother's Day is coming. And this says, mothers hold their children's hands for a short while, their hearts forever. Well, I don't know how old this is, but it's a cute sentiment. And a little extra gift, or if you have like a two-year-old or something that, you know, needs a little present for their mommy. I have this, you know how much I like pottery. So I still have this pitcher, pottery creamer also. And I believe it's wall. It really looks like W-A-H-L. And I believe that's a really good pottery. If someone knows, please, you know, put a comment down below and let me know. And as always, um, I've had you on here for 20 minutes, so uh, I'm going to ask, please like, comment, and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, come see my sale on Thursday at 6.30. I'm really happy to see you and really want to see you guys. Um, hope you like this video. Uh, like I said, a lot of this will be in the sale, except for the glasses I know I'm keeping. Um, but pretty much everything else is going to be in the sale. I'm trying not to keep too much because I don't know. I'm undecided about moving now, so I'll let you in on that secret. Um, probably my kids, if they see this video, they're going to be upset because they've really been helping me around the house. Uh, my son was down from Texas. My daughter, for the past couple months have been helping me and her husband and they uh, took truckloads to the <laughs> dump and they helped me take stuff to donate to Goodwill and Salvation Army and Heather worked her butt off cleaning out closets and stuff because my back was hurting me back then so I wasn't able to bend as much. My kids are fantastic. And then my son came down or came up from Texas and it was for the, um, you know, celebration of life for Brian. He came up um, a couple of days before that, helped me and did the celebration of life with us and then helped like for the next week doing different odds and end things and worked his butt off, painted awnings, pa uh, put up a door, um, sold a lot of things for me on uh, the marketplace on Facebook, you know, big items. Um, did sheetrock that he never did before and, you know, he did a good job. And just hauling stuff from the basement that, you know, Heather hadn't done yet. Um, but I, I tell you, I couldn't have any better kids than what I have. So I've been blessed with that, I tell you that. And uh, I, I, I don't even want to tell them that I'm thinking now maybe just to stay in the house because they fixed it up so nice that uh, it makes me want to stay. And I don't know, I'm not all the way sure, so I think I shouldn't make that decision yet. So I don't know, it's still going back and forth in my head and I don't have to make up my mind overnight. So I'm not going to, I'm going to wait a little bit longer. But I will have a sale Thursday. I'm going out tomorrow to try to video at an antique store. So that'll be coming up. Um, hopefully I can post that by Wednesday. So you'll have um, Monday's stuff, the haul that I did from the past few days at Salvation Army and Goodwill, this one to see today, uh, Tuesday. And then hopefully I'll have the antique store one coming out on Wednesday. Um, and then the sale on Thursday and maybe Friday we can do something live. Um, trying to catch up and do more videos because I know you guys uh, like a lot of videos per week <laughs> and I haven't delivered 
and I had a lot going on in my life, but I appreciate you being patient with me and um, seeing me through all my ups and downs this year. Uh, I do have my goal to be seen more on YouTube and Instagram and all that. Um, hopefully I can live up to that. I have a lot to sell at the sale. So I will see you then guys. And uh, please tell your friends, tell your friends to tell their friends. We need more subscribers on this channel. I need you guys to build my channel up and share it and like it. So give me a thumbs up. If you liked anything here, please put a comment what you liked and I'll see you Thursday at the sale. Bye. Come back and see Cindy Strifton again on Thursday for the sale at 6.30 p.m.